Ribbit, ribbit, croak. Ribbit, ribbit, croak, croak. What's that sound coming from my throat? Tell are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm a frog, I'm a frog, I'm a green Mimu G machine frog. I'm the F R O G salt and C R I M E with my sword and the witch. Stop moving! I'm a frog, I'm a frog, I'm a flip flop. My name is Frog Frog. I'm the F R O G with the personality. I'm a frog, I'm a frog. Oh, Paper Princess, the bag on your face is looking exceptionally radiant today. Is it recyclable? I can't tell. Hmm. Oh, King Arthur, no one pulls a sword out of a stone like you. You're the kind of warrior I could really do battle with. So. Huh? Fauza! What? You were dreaming. I noticed. Well... Will you wake Frop up? We've got a case in our hands. A big case. Frop! Yeah? Wake up. No. Frop? Uh Uh-huh? I need you to pay attention. Uh Uh-huh? It is of the utmost importance that you listen carefully. Go on. Will you stop waving that sentient sword around and pay attention? We have our first case, arson. We have a son? Arson, not our son. I try to listen. There was a fire in the woods. The dwarves that live there suspect someone is responsible. Now it's your job to go in there and find out who did it. Get it? Got it. Good. Now get going. So, how much of that did you actually pay attention to? Not much. Frop? Yeah? Where do swords come from? I'll tell you when you're older. I don't age, I think. Does rust count? Do you smell that? No, I also can't smell. Again, side effect of being a sword. It's smoke! Come on! Perfect! Witch, your days of arsoning are over! I am not a witch. And arsoning is not a word. Lies! How you witches deceive with such outrageous falseness! I was simply making an ointment for the animals that were burned, if you would only listen. (laughs) Silly witch. Only a witch would say that she's not a witch. You are really bad at listening. And logic, and reasoning, and common sense. What did you say? I said that- Enough! On your feet! Now we shall take you to the paper princess where you shall be tried for witchcraft. And we had better hurry. They generally stop hanging people at sunset. Come on, they can squeeze you in. Hello? May we be of assistance? Who are you? Yeah, and why are you guys talking like that? Ugh. See, I told you. No one wants to see us finish each other's sentences. It's weird. I... I just thought that we would make a good impression. We practiced that for hours. That's time I'll never get back. Who are you? I'm Gamey. And I'm Bendy. You're still doing it. Sorry. We are the eighth and ninth dwarf. Well, which one is eight and which one is nine? We never really thought about it before. Please let us know if we may be of service. We are the guardians of the forest, tasked to protect it at any cost. And I am Frop, the Frog Knight Detective. And this woman is the witch who committed arson. We have a son? What? No, I... She must be taken to the castle at once. 
The paper princess will try her for her crimes. I'm not a witch. Typical witch behavior. You two take her away. I must stay here. See if she's got any other loose spells hanging about. Right. Come on, miss. Don't make us force you. Anything to get away from this idiot. I know what you are, but what am I? An idiot. What do we do now? Seen any spells yet? Nope. I'm just starting to think maybe she wasn't a witch. Do you seriously doubt my detecting skills? Every day. Frob, I haven't stabbed one thing since we started this case. Not one thing. We're back. And what is she doing here? Has she bewitched the entire kingdom? The princess found her innocent of all charges. I told you. And, as punishment for your lack of listening skills, you shall patrol the grounds tonight in search of the true arsonist, along with Brea. How big are these woods? 40 miles long. Right. Good luck finding the flamer in this. Bigfoot will be easier to track. I saw Bigfoot yesterday. He's not that hard to find. Yeah, Fowser. Everyone's met Bigfoot. That's not that big a deal. Wait, did you hear that? Will you just see what it is already? What if it's a horrifying monster with fangs that breathes fire? Oh, for goodness sake. It's a rabbit. Aha, suspect number one. Rabbits don't burn down forests. Well, how can we know for sure if we don't take it in for questions? <sighs> and it's gone. Halt, halt. You are resisting arrest! You really want to know why the fire happened? Look at the ground! Is the arsonist supposed to be down here? Because I don't see them. Touch it! It's dry! The trees are even drier. The whole forest is just kindling. Why? Magic comes from the earth. When witches use magic, they're taking the energy from the ground and drying it up. See, Thouser, witches are the cause of everything wrong with the world. It's not just the witches. Who do you think pay witches for spells? Everyday people from the kingdom who don't even know or care that they're killing the earth. So that's your plan. Dry the earth out with your witchcraft and burn it to ashes. What is it going to take to make you listen? I'm all ears. I'm not a witch. My mother raised me in the woods. She taught me to protect nature. Taught me how to make potions and ointments. When the fire happened, I knew some animals would be hurt. So I tried to make something that could help heal them. I wasn't always a frog. Not long ago, I was human. Do you think one of your potions could... I'm sorry, Frop. I would if I could, but it's going to take real magic to break a curse like that. I know you'll be human again one day, Froth. It's not all bad, I suppose. I get to try new food, secrete mucus. It's different. Listen, smell that? Wait, you can smell? Yeah, but you're a sword. I smell it too. Smoke! No! You are the Ninth Dwarf. Mother named me, and then you. That makes you the Ninth. But I'm three years older than you, so rightfully I would be the Eighth Dwarf. You're lucky Mother gave you a number at all, you dolt. Hold it right there. We have some questions. Yes. What is your backstory? Why did your mother wait three years to raise you? I need to know. Not that, you two. You started the fires, didn't you? Nonsense! It's against the laws of nature for a dwarf to intentionally hurt the forest. Now, as I was saying, Mother always thought you were a mistake, no. so therefore... 
in the future. Let's not smoke in the woods. Let's not smoke, period. Ow! Freya, the match burnt my thumb. Oh, there, there. It's just a little burn. We'll get you over to my place where I can put some ointment on it. You're telling me we went on a whole adventure and I didn't even stab anything? Gamey said I was a mistake. That's not true. You're just an accident. There's a difference. And Gamey is insecure. Come on, let's get you home. Looks like you've got everything covered from here. Keep it. I'm sorry I couldn't turn you human, Frop. It's fine. I'm sorry I didn't listen when I should have. Hey, you listened when I told you you weren't listening. That's half the battle. I'll be seeing you, anthropomorphic frogman who wasn't always a frog. Does this mean you'll listen to me now? No promises. Well? Well, what? Well, I'm assuming that as you two are back here lounging, you've recovered my reward for sending you in to solve the crime. Reward? Reward? Hey, Thousand, do you remember a reward? Oh, we donated it to help rebuilding the forest. You what? Yeah, that's right. We donated the whole thing. Pretty heroic, isn't it, Goldeneye? You idiot! Have you forgotten who you work for? Why, I... I, I could turn you into a... A frog? Been there, done that. Anyway, after we made our donation, we sent Breya back to the castle and told the princess about the hefty toll magic has on our environment. The princess agreed, and so Mondays are now magic conservation days. So... If you want to turn me into some animal other than a frog, you're going to have to wait until tomorrow. I never pictured you as the self-sacrificing type. What can I say? Things aren't always as they seem. <laughs> <laughs>